Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hallett, I am joined by Alex Michael, and today we will be discussing the DMSI Senior Design Project, the Agility Bomb Interface. But first, a little bit of background. DMSI was founded in 1976 and is based out of Omaha. They are a software provider for the building materials industry. Their flagship product is called Agility, and it's an enterprise resource planning software. Agility allows DMSI's customers to track their product's configuration and manage their inventory. However, the initial configuration process for Agility is complex and therefore time-consuming. So DMSI has decided to use our project as a means to improve Agility's configuration process. Our stakeholders for this project were Jason Niemi, the VP of R&D for DMSI and our primary contact, Scott Green, the manager of client services, Bob Hilson, a senior consultant, Chris Fuller, the senior project manager, Lois Dieterich, the product owner, Adam Erickson, our technical contact, Holden Malia, the VP of Sales, Marketing, and Product, Cal German, the CEO and owner, and Trent Pavin, the president. For our development team, I was the product manager and team lead, Alex Michael was our development manager, Paul Phillip was a front-end developer, Ziwen Kong was a back-end developer, Nasi Mogani was a back-end developer, and Ibram Salinas was also a back-end developer. Supporting us were Jeremy Suing, our project manager, Jeffrey Haas, our project coach, and Brady Garvin, our tribe lead. A little bit more detail on our project problem. Agility configurations are managed by bills of materials, what we refer to as bombs. Bombs are currently maintained on Excel spreadsheets, and even the smaller, smaller bombs tend to contain thousands of components, each with their own unique descriptions, details, and attributes, all of which is needed by Agility to work correctly. These vast numbers of options makes the initial setup, maintenance, and updating of bombs difficult to do on the current spreadsheet solution. This is a small segment of one of the spreadsheets that DMSI uses to maintain its bombs. As you can see, there's quite a lot of information here. We can see about 30 rows of different product components, and it's being stretched across multiple pages to show all the relevant information. This isn't even including the hundreds or thousands of other product components, which are also on the spreadsheet, but we can't actually see on this screenshot. To go about setting up, maintaining, and then updating these bombs currently is a very tedious process, as you can tell. The solution to this problem is the Agility Bomb Interface. The Agility Bomb Interface will replace the current spreadsheet management with a more user-friendly web application to manage bombs instead. This will allow for a reduction in the initial setup and maintenance time of bombs, which will allow for a greater turnaround time for DMSI's customers, and its integration into Agility will allow for a more efficient use of that flagship product. With the problem now summarized, I will go ahead and hand it off to Alex, who will explain our solution. The solution we built is a React JavaScript web application. It is scalable and easy to maintain, which means it will remain stable while adapting to future upgrades and changes. For the front end, we use React JavaScript to handle the logic behind our functions and HTML and CSS to design the visual components of our application. For the back end, we use SQL Database, Travis CI, and Docker. Travis CI is an integration service used to build and test software projects hosted on GitHub. Travis CI enabled us to run automated tests when deploying updates to our AWS server. This will ensure the safety of our code. Docker makes it easier to deploy and run our application by using containers. Using containers allows us to condense our application into one package with all of the parts it needs, such as libraries and other dependencies. I will now give a demonstration of our project solution. First, let's take a quick look at a typical bomb spreadsheet file. Notice here that we have bomb IDs, items, item details, and attributes. Each bomb ID has its own set of item table data and attribute data. Let's import this file into our web application. To import a spreadsheet, click here or drag and drop your file here. After the spreadsheet has been imported, the navigation panel is loaded with each BOM ID from the spreadsheet. Click on a BOM ID to view its contents. Here we can edit BOM data as desired. Give new items default values to save time on manual entry. 
delete items, add attributes, navigate between bomb IDs with ease. Users can duplicate bomb data by clicking the duplicate bomb button. Give your bomb a new ID. If we scroll to the bottom, you can see our duplicated bomb is right here. As you can see, all of the contents are the same except for the new ID number. If you delete an item and made a mistake, click the undo button to put that item back in the table. Same goes for attributes. The navigation groups in the navigation panel are collapsible to save room. To add more groups or bombs, click on the Options button. Here we can add new groups. To add a new group, select the green plus button. Give your new group a name. To view the bombs within a group, select your group here. As you can see, all the bombs contained within this group are listed below. You can delete bombs here, add bombs, or move bombs to a new group. Notice on the side panel here that these bombs are being moved and being removed from this group. To export the web application's table data, click the Export Bomb Data button here. A file will be downloaded and it will contain the contents of your table data, organized in a format recognizable by DMSI's flagship product, Agility. Now we will talk about the value our solution provides. On the left, we have some screenshots of a Bomb Excel spreadsheet. The average spreadsheet contains thousands of rows displaying item details and item attributes and can have 30 columns. Scrolling through a large spreadsheet like this is tedious and hard to read. On the right, we have our web application displaying item and attribute data for a single BOM ID, allowing you to focus on one set of data at a time. This reduces vertical scrolling and eliminates horizontal scrolling. With BOM data being easier to read and maintain, customers will have more control over their products. This will help ensure customers that they are getting what they want. Our project allows bombs to be constructed in less time by reducing time spent on initial setup and maintenance of bombs, giving a faster turnaround time on investment. This means more business opportunities for DMSI and gives them time to focus on other areas of their business. Because this project is brand new and there are many ways to further its capabilities, it has great potential to transform the way DMSI runs their business. Here are some highlights and things we learned from our time spent working on this project. It can be easy to read a list of objectives and understand what the end goal is for a project, but to transform our idea into something real meant we had to go a step further. It required us to think critically about what can be done rather than what could be done. Because this project started from the ground up, we were given the opportunity to understand the requirements of creating something from nothing. Sponsor communication. We gained valuable professional experience by coordinating meetings and working through solutions with DMSI. And in order to make this project successful, we needed to work together as a team and divide tasks efficiently, a necessity at any job position. Thank you to DMSI for giving us this opportunity to learn by sponsoring our project. And a special thanks to Jason, Scott, Bob, Chris, Adam, and the rest of our contacts at DMSI for being so helpful and accommodating throughout the year. Thank you, Jeremy, Jeff, and Brady for all of your help on our project. And on behalf of everybody on our team, we give thanks to the stakeholders at DMSI for this opportunity to grow and learn. It has been a pleasure to work with you over the last nine months.